crazy son of a bitch finish Rambo! Rambo, don't do it. Listen to me, Rambo. You have no chance. So drop your weapon. I'm going to order the chopper in and fly you back to Bragg. Hold your fire! Kern! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Think about what you're doing. The building's perimeter is covered. No exit. There are nearly 200 men out there and a lot of M16s. You did everything to make this private war happen. You've done enough damage. This mission is over, Rambo. Do you understand me? This mission is over. Look at him out there. Look at him. If you don't end this now, they're gonna kill you. Is that what you want? It's over, Johnny. It's over! Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! It wasn't my war! You asked me, I didn't ask you! And I did what I had to do to win, but somebody wouldn't let us win! Then I come back to the world, and I see all those maggots at the airport, protesting me, spitting, calling me baby killer and all kinds of vile crap! Who are they to protest me, huh? Who are they? Unless they've been me and been there and know what the hell they're yelling about? It was a bad time for everyone, Rambo. It's all in the past now. For you! For me, civilian life is nothing. In the field, we had a coat of honor. You watch my back, I watch yours. Back here, there's nothing. You're the last of an elite group. Don't end it like this. Back there, I could fly a gunship. I could drive a tank. I was in charge of million-dollar equipment. Back here, I can't even hold the job. Fucking guys! Ah! I just, oh God, where's everybody? God, I, can't, I, just, I had a friend, was the Air Force, but I had all these guys, man. Back there, I had all these fucking guys. Who were my friends? Because back here, there's nothing. Remember Dan Force? He wore his black headband, I took one of those magic markers, and I said it found. He mailed us to Las Vegas, because we were always talking about Vegas, and this fucking car, this uh, red 58 Chevy convertible, he's talking about this car. He said, we're going to cruise till the tires fall off. We went to this bar in Saigon, and this kid comes up. This kid going to see shine box. And he says, uh, shine, please, shine. I said, no, and he kept asking, yeah. And Joey said, yeah. And I went to get a couple of beers, and the, the box is wired. And he opened up the box, fucking blew his body all over the place. And he's laying there, and he's fucking screaming, there's pieces of them all over me, just like fucking pieces, like this. And I'm trying to pull him off, you know? And it's my friend that's all over me. He's got blood and everything, and I'm trying to hold him together. I put him together, his fucking insides keep coming out. And nobody would help. Nobody would help me say, please, I want to go home, I want to go home. We keep calling my leg. I want to go home, Johnny. I want to drive my Chevy. I said, well, what? I can't find your fucking legs. I can't find your legs. Seven years. Every day it happens. You know, sometimes I wake up and go, where are you? I don't talk to anybody. Sometimes a day. Last week. I can't put it out of my mind.
John Rambo, a drifter just passing through their town. Morning. Headed north or south? North. Now jump in. I'll make sure you're heading the right direction. Huh? You got some place I can eat around here? There's a diner about 30 miles up the highway. Is there any law against me getting something here? Yeah, me. I want you to book this gentleman for vagrancy, resisting arrest, carrying a concealed weapon. They knew he was innocent. I'm starting to dislike you a lot. And they didn't give a damn. Ah! That's okay, Warren. Don't worry about the soap. He's tough. Just save him. Drag. Don't move. I don't want you to cut your own throat. Ah! John Rambo. One man who's been pushed too far. You're finished! You've gone as far as you're gonna go! And straight for the top. <laughs> right on top of him. There's no way out of here except through us. He was hunted. Trapped. There he is! On the cliff! And forced to fight back. Don't push it. Don't push it, I'll give you a war you won't believe. Teasel, you and all your men couldn't handle him before. Now, what makes you think you can handle him now? Because God knows what damage he's prepared to do. You don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert in guerrilla warfare. Are you telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? Send that money. Don't forget one thing. A good supply of body bags. Sylvester Stallone. This time, he's fighting for his life. First blood. 